Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a reaction to an episode of Blackish. I kind of started to point to this episode in the last video I did, but in this one I want you guys to see me watch this video where Bo is in the OR and she's confronting another physician and points to something that I have dealt with and I know a lot of other women of color who are physicians have dealt with and that's earning or just getting respect in the workplace. So I want you guys to watch me and I'm gonna stop and react to some of the parts that I feel are really important for everyone to see. Johnson. Whatever, hon, I'm married. Okay, now, scooch over. Papa's got journey tickets. Okay. Yeah, gotta see if that Filipino kid's for real. Oh. Wow, so like I said, yeah, there's always, there's been a struggle for many women in the workplace to get respect, but this is specifically personal for me because I have been there, not getting hip bumped by another physician, but <laughs> I have been there where, you know, I'm in the room, I'm playing my role, I'm doing my job as an anesthesiologist, and um, people will certainly not assume that I'm that person, and they will just like gloss over me when they're asking about like who's anesthesia who's anesthesia and I'm just like yeah it's little old me I'm, I'm it and another thing that, that's in this scene so it's assumed that Bo is a nurse and that is that's every day for me it's like you know I'm in the OR I'm doing my job and people will come in the room and just be like all right uh, I, I could be anything else but you know the doctor I can be the scrub tech I could be a housekeeping I could be one of the circulators in the room but I just am not assumed to be the doctor and um, oh I can even be the resident um, I could not be the attendant. I can be a resident I can be a resident but not the attending oh you're the attending yes I am <laughs> smart and black <laughs> Therapy. Excuse me, Dr. Honeybun, I gotta jump in here real quick. Ugh, but I got an excuse. I'm not good at waiting. <laughs> oh, what's with the face, huh? I remembered you were a doctor. <laughs> oh, God! I should have just told him, go to hell, Dr. Jerk! But I'm a people pleaser! Why do I always have to please people? <laughs> Oh man, so true. Like when the surgeon hip checked Bo again, I mean, I know in that moment she was just like, if I wasn't at work, that's how I'd be feeling sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, just to be really like honest and serious about it, like that struggle exists. It definitely exists and it's an everyday thing for some people. It, it depends, like if you're able to overcome that by like building rapport with that person or directly confronting that person which is very uncomfortable sometimes that's the only way to gain the respect and also to have a relationship where people are you know more cordial with you and more respectful of you as a person and what you do so I'm assuming that's the first time that those two work together so maybe they didn't have that opportunity yet but um, I definitely um, identify with Bo where she's just like you know in the moment she's grinning she's burying it and then she goes to her car and she's like she's losing it like oh why can't I just like tell him off that moment or why can't I just confront him in that moment why do I look like a fool in front of people well it's because I'm a people pleaser so I feel you Bo I feel you I've been there and I think that's a lot like me like I, I don't like to confront people or be confrontational any in general situations much less at work when I'm trying to be professional so it's it's tough it's really tough I I feel you. Hey, sweetheart, you mind if I just oh, get in Oh, you want to scrub in? Yeah, you want to scrub in? Go ahead. Why don't you scrub in? Here, you need some gloves? Scrub in. Go ahead and scrub in. You want to scrub in, baby? All right, baby, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Want some paper towel? Need some soap. What are you looking at, huh? 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 Scrub in. Go. Scrub in. Dr. Johnson says scrub in. <laughs> Totally, totally, like, ah! 
the amount of times that you really like want to do that, you fantasize about doing stuff like that, you would never do that at work. Like that's when she bro reached her breaking point. She was just fed up with the disrespect. And I feel like she didn't have her therapy sessions. Um, in this episode, she gave them away to her husband because her husband needed to work through some issues. And so she didn't have her usual outlet with therapy. So she just, she was unhinged. I feel like a lot of um, people and myself, I don't go to therapy yet. But a lot of people just get to that breaking point as you know a lot of women physicians feel like they want to get to that breaking point because they're constantly getting into these situations where you know someone is pressing them and is just like disrespecting them and just not recognizing them for like an equal and that is tough I mean I mean you really have a lot of pressures against you um, you know as a woman physician especially a woman physician of color it's really really you know an uphill battle and it's still going right now I don't think we're anywhere close to being done with you know fighting for the um, respect of others so you know you, you you're thinking to yourself you know I went through the same thing that you went through I went through medical school all the exams that we went that we had to go through for licensing I did the same thing you know residency put in the same amount of time and a lot of hard work and sweat and tears and you know we're in the same boat you know MD MD we're in the same boat and then on top of that it's like okay after all of that you know you see me doing my job every day and I'm damn good at it gotta say I do a good job and I think that at that point then people learn to respect you when they see like your work and outcomes are good and things of like that, that nature okay so this is happening to you in your day-to-day -day job or you're also a doctor and you're going through this so what do you do about it? So I feel like you having a conversation with the person who's doing this to you is really hard. The first thing that I typically do if I feel like I'm being put in this situation is I just try to like not react like Bo, obviously. I mean, if you want to keep your job, you won't do that. Um, this is just purely for comedy. But you want to handle it professionally. So you want to show that person that you are to be respected. And you can do this kind of indirectly. Just assert yourself in what you're doing. So I I make sure that I do the best that I can for my patients always but especially in these situations you want to make sure that you assert yourself as a competent physician a competent employee a competent colleague and that respect that you're um, trying to get is going to be given to you when you your work speaks for it so I always do that I make sure to parry back with confidence you know that person is looking at you as someone who's not respectable and you want to dispel that myth in their mind I am someone who's to be respected I respect myself and I show confidence and what I do and you better do the same usually you know if you're a junior member of the team or you're just coming on to a job you're gonna have to pay your dues you know get all the difficult things put on your shoulders people are gonna dump on you and then once you actually show them that you're able to handle it all and you build yourself up and you build a good reputation for yourself then people will start to respect you more and you know you have a good reputation that will precede you before you do anything people will say oh that person knows what they're doing I've seen them in action and your reputation will build so unfortunately as a woman um, in the workplace you kind of it's like your first day every day you have to constantly prove yourself and constantly build up that you know reputation of you know knowing what you're doing and being competent every day I, if you're in this position you're doing this just know that you're not alone and this is something that every woman goes through I would say um, at this point and uh, especially if you're a woman of color it's going to be okay you're going to get through it just keep working hard doing um, what you're doing with confidence and be strong and no matter what happens at the end of the day you're going to be okay <laughs>